Hey there, DP. I'm Kira Ritterhouse. And I'm Nick Solon. We're ready to discuss this day's events. DP News starts now. Tomorrow will be a very busy day. There will be no zero period. Sophomores and juniors will need to report to their assigned classrooms at 8 a.m. to take the PACT or the PSAT. Lists are posted by the library and outside the office, so do not forget to check which room you need to head into tomorrow. Bring a silent activity to occupy yourself once you have finished the test. Because technology, meaning iPads, iPods, and phones, are not allowed, even if you have finished the test. Assistant Principal Mr. Woodard has more. Hello, DP. A few quick reminders for tomorrow's PSAT ACT day. First, all 10th and 11th graders, please arrive by 7.50 and check the outer walls of the admin building or the library to see your room assignment. Uh, breakfast will be served between 7.30 and 7.50. Reminder, there is no nutrition tomorrow, so make sure that you come and get a breakfast if you need to. All 9th and 12th graders, remember you are reporting at 9 a.m. 9th graders to the EPAC and 12th graders to the Greek theater for your photo. Please be quiet as you're entering the, the campus because of students who are testing. Breakfast for 9th and 12th graders will be served between 8.30 and 9 a.m. Um, so you can get your breakfast then. Again, remember, no, no nutrition tomorrow. Have a great day, DP. Good luck. Bye-bye. Seniors will be taking their senior class photo in the Greek at 9 a.m. That means get together with your friends, wear the same colored shirt, and spell a word out on your shirt using tape or paint. After that, seniors will be filming the second annual lip dub. Bring clothes that can get wet if you want to go in the pool. Also, speaking of senior pictures, Cornerstone is on campus today to get the rest of the seniors who have not taken their formal senior portraits. Go to H30 to make sure you get your senior picture. These pictures are free for all seniors. Also, you can buy your 2014 senior t-shirts at the lunch, at, at lunch for 20 bucks. <laughs> In the Greek. NHS and CSF forms are due tomorrow outside of Miss Stone's office no later than 3 p.m. The fee may be paid online at the DPHS web store or at the business office before or after school and at lunch on Wednesday. Homecoming week is next week. We will be having dress-up days, activities in the Greek, and the announcement of your homecoming queen and king. Friday night will be the homecoming game and homecoming dance is October 26th at the Earl Warren Showgrounds from 8.30 to 11.30. If you want to bring an outside guest to the dance, guest forms are now available in Ms. Rehag's office and will only be available through this Friday. You can go purchase your tickets in the business office at lunch all week, or you can buy them online at the DP web store. Tickets cost $12 with a charger card and $17 without. If you wish to bring a guest, their ticket will cost $20. Some clubs meeting today are the Art Club in A4, Ukulele Club in A1, and all homecoming court nominees have a meeting at T3 at lunch. Class route officers and pep rally team meet in P2. All clubs and organizations that want a representative in homecoming, as a lord or a lady, there is a meeting at lunch on Thursday to express your commitment. That's all we have for you today. I'm Nick. And I'm Kira. Now over to the lovely Jessica with sports. Thanks, Kira. Last Friday, DP started off strong, crushing the Santa Barbara Dons with an impressive 28-12 victory. Tyler Welch ran for two touchdowns and intercepted a pass that led us into halftime ahead, 28-0. The Dons tried to fight back by scoring some points in the fourth quarter, but it was too little too late. This Friday is the city championship game against San Marcos on our field at 7, and we will start by getting pumped up in the Greek at lunch during the pep rally. Remember, freshmen wear black, sophomores wear yellow, juniors wear blue, and seniors wear white. Girls Golf won yesterday against Orcutt Academy, and today will face Rigetti at home. This continues their amazing undefeated record of 12-0. Senior Addie Zarenner led the girls' team with a time of 18-17 at Woodward Park. Our girls finished 11th overall. 
Following Addie were Christina Rice, Elaine McClure, Natalie McClure, and Tatiana Schloop. And that's all for your sports. I'm Jessica Brest. Have a dandy day, DP.